Hi everyone, I'm Yusuf Mehdi, sending you a warm virtual welcome from the Microsoft campus here in Redmond. I wish we could be together, but we've got something special planned for you. Come on, I want to take you behind the scenes and show you where we envision and create new experiences that transform the way we live, work, and play. Today, I want to focus on how we're going to help people make the most of their time across their work and personal lives. Help them connect and protect the ones that they love, and to provide the tools that will help them learn and develop and grow. Now, we're living in very fluid times. Things are changing all the time. So I thought it'd be great if we start off by having Satya join us via Microsoft Teams to share his thoughts and perspectives. Hi, Satya. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Yusuf. Given all that's going on in the world, what's top of mind for you? Uh, we're living in unprecedented times. Uh, COVID-19 is impacting everyone around the world, every aspect of our daily lives, how we work, our social interactions, our family life, life in our communities. Our top priority is ensuring the health and safety of our employees around the world, and uh, we are mobilizing to address the broader societal and economic impact of the virus as well. Uh, we recognize the role our technology plays, and we're focused on being those first responders to the first responders, uh, working tirelessly to reduce the impact of COVID-19, from telemedicine solutions to remote learning and education to public sector. Uh, for example, we have partnered with CDC to make their self-checker health part available to everyone, uh, which in turn can help free up the healthcare uh, workers and the health capacity to provide critical care to those who need it most. Uh, it's clear that just as the virus has no borders, its cure will have no borders. Uh, it's going to require all of us coming together as a global community to turn the tide. As we think about our mission, we've made strides empowering organizations to achieve more. I'd like to focus on what you feel we can do uniquely for people in their personal lives as we pursue our mission. Our lives today are more blended than ever before, uh, with many of us using technology more and more to connect, to work, learn, and play. Um, as you know, we're using Teams each day ourselves. Uh, that's how I stay connected with my colleagues. It's easy to collaborate on documents, conduct meetings, and chat all in one digital canvas. Uh, Skype has also been vital for people around the world to stay in touch with their families and friends uh, when we can't be in the same place together. Um, our education solutions are playing a pivotal role to facilitate remote learning from Office 365 and Teams to Minecraft to Flipgrid. I mean, I love seeing how Flipgrid, for example, is helping educators and parents and students uh, connect through video together in fun and engaging ways. Through these unprecedented experience, I think we are all going to learn a tremendous amount and transform how we work and how we learn and how we connect with each other across these geographic boundaries. That's going to be the secular structural change that's going to come about. Uh, with that, I know the team has been working on some great new solutions for consumers, so I'll hand it back to you, Yusuf, to show us more. Thank you very much, Satya. Appreciate you joining. So today, as you hear, Life is interrupting work and work is interrupting life. And we're finding new ways to have to work from home, learn from home and play from home. And so in this time, it's so much more important than ever that we make the time to connect with the people we care about, to create that sense of community, to find the time for us to learn to develop and grow and to make sure we're on top of the things that really matter to us. At Microsoft, we feel we can be unique in providing a single set of tools that blend work and life. Today, we offer a free set of services to over half a billion people across things like email, word processing, storage, and web browsing. We also, as you know, offer premium services. The Microsoft Surface family of devices help you be productive across all the things you do in your life and keep you in your flow. And today, we want to talk about the Office 365 premium experience used by over 38 million people. As we start to look to the future, we want to evolve to go from tools to solutions. So today, I'm delighted to announce Microsoft 365 Personal and Family Subscription. It is the subscription service for your life to help you make the most of your time. It's gonna roll out April 21st and begin to get out to all of the current subscribers. It begins with our core office applications, where we're gonna infuse AI, cloud-powered experiences, and new templates and content to move from those tools to solutions. Next, we're gonna update OneDrive and Outlook to help you get a safer experience and be able to be much more productive. 
And lastly, we're delighted to announce two new experiences, a new family safety app and Teams for Consumer. They're gonna really get you closer to the people you care about and protect the things that you love. So we're excited to show you these. Let's take a look. Let's begin with Philip, who works on our core office applications. Philip's a natural writer and communicator, so I can think of no one better to show you our work here. But for many of us, writing is a tough but really challenging skill. Philip, let's show him how Microsoft Editor is gonna make things better. Absolutely. With the new and improved Microsoft Editor, we want to help people become confident and better writers in general. That's why we're adding new tools like rewrite suggestions. These options can help rephrase a sentence while staying true to the original meaning. Now for even more options, they can actually hop up and open the Editor pane. Here we've added all sorts of new advanced style refinements that can add clarity to your paper, for example. Inclusiveness is another refinement that's available. Here you can see a gentleman's agreement and suggest something that might be better received by a reader, like an unwritten agreement. Oftentimes we hear from customers that biased language is completely unintentional. So these subtle and completely optional tips can highlight if there's a more inclusive way of writing something. Editor can also help you avoid plagiarism. Now this is particularly useful for students, but whenever someone's pulling information from different sources, it can be easy to miss that proper attribution. For the first time ever built into Word, the similarity checker allows you to write your paper and feel confident that you have the proper citation. It's gonna be great for parents and students. Oh, 100%. Now, that's just how we're helping people write in Word. But with Microsoft 365, we wanna help you become a better writer everywhere. That's why I'm excited to announce that we are not only natively integrating Editor into Outlook for the web, but we're also launching a new Editor browser extension to kind of expand those capabilities even further. So now whether you're writing in Word, Outlook, LinkedIn, Facebook, Editor is right there when you need it, across platforms and across more than 20 languages. So once you're done writing your paper, next step is often designing your slides. The right visuals can really make or break a presentation, but finding the right images and icons and doing all the formatting can be difficult and take a good amount of time. That's why with Microsoft 365, we're giving people access to premium creative content, a growing catalog of thousands of images, icons, and hundreds of fonts and more. That content alongside Designer can really take a presentation to the next level. Now, people already love Designer because it can help them do things like add a format with just a click. But it can also understand the intent of a slide, taking a wall of text like this, and making it into something more consumable, like this timeline, or these quickly jotted notes, and making it to something more appealing, adding some of those new icons and even a new image in the background that complements the text. The new premium content catalog will also allow designer to suggest new looping videos like this one. That sort of subtle motion can really add a new layer to your presentation, help you captivate your audience and open strong. So powerful, I love these. Right, it looks amazing. And with Microsoft 365, you'll have access to over 150 of these beautiful looping videos to help you stand out and have beautiful presentations. That's fantastic. But let's be honest, the hard part's presenting it. Now for many of us, public speaking is a real fear, real challenge. Let's show you how Microsoft Presenter Coach is gonna give each one of us the confidence to be a great speaker. Well, today, Presenter Coach already helps people become more dynamic speakers helping you avoid filler words, such as, um, uh, it can also give you a gentle reminder not to simply read off your slides. Definition of renewable energy. Renewable energy sources are those produced from natural processes and do not deplete or continually replenish, as you can see here. Fantastic. Or say if you're one of those people who gets really nervous when you get in front of a crowd and you start speaking really, really quickly simply because you just wanna sit down, it can remind you to slow down a bit. And with Microsoft 365, we're only adding more functionality and refinements. For example, monotone pitch detection can help you if you end up speaking on the same level. If I start speaking like this for too long, I could actually bore my audience and they can lose interest. And now Presenter Coach can actually remind me to add emphasis and vary my pitch. And as I incorporate this feedback and I start to storytell a bit more dynamically, it can give me positive feedback to keep going. Then finally, 
When I'm done, it can give me a summary of all the feedback and even things like my pace over time. So how do you think I did? Nicely done, Philip. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, let's take a look at the next part of the solution of Microsoft 365. Hi, Gloria. Hey, Yusuf. How's it going? Good. Now, as you know, we've been talking about how we're taking our office applications from tools to solutions. For many people, managing finance is a real challenge. Let's talk about how we're going to make things easier with money in Excel. Yeah, absolutely. We all want to be more in control of our finances. And so many of us continue to turn to Excel to really help us manage our money because it's completely customizable. And also, it takes time and effort, but we're about to change that. With Money in Excel, it's our first smart, dynamic template that actually connects to financial accounts, helping us simplify managing our money. On the right-hand side, you'll see that I've already connected into my Money in Excel. I've got my connected accounts here, and as I click into transactions, it gives me real-time, line-by-line feedback on all the different transactions I have from my one view of all the accounts. Nice. For a more holistic view of my finances, I can add additional accounts from over 10,000 financial institutions. Enter in my financial credentials here. Let's connect to checking. And Money in Excel will fetch the data for me. And there we go. On the right-hand side, you see that Fidelity has just been added in. And on the left-hand side, all my line-by-line -line updates across now all of the accounts that I have in here. I love the simplicity of this tool, of being able to manage everything kind of all in one across my cards, my banks, and my accounts, helping me to relieve some of that mental load of keeping track across multiple accounts. Money in Excel also generates a personal monthly snapshot for me right here. And as I look across the last month, I can take a look at how I might want to adjust my future spending habits. And to further customize, I can go over here to templates. And as I continue to scroll down, you'll see these tailored templates really allow me to customize this workbook to what matters to me for my own personal finances. And we'll continue to evolve these templates over time. Money Excel really gives you the tools to create a solution that works for you, feeling a greater sense of financial well-being to really help you gain a little peace of mind. So we're also announcing a new way to interact with your data today. With new data types, you'll be able to make sense of your data as Excel provides meaning to over 100 topics. On the left here, I have a list of food ingredients. On the right are all the nutrition information. With the food data type, I can easily add in a new column for, let's say, vitamin C. Just like that, it helps me fill out the type of information that I need from just the words here. Let's go ahead and add another one. I'm gonna just add in the two pancakes I had for breakfast. And there we go. You see that with data types, with the food data types, it recognized the number two as well as the word pancake and brought that, all that information in across the nutrients. That's so fantastic. Yeah. So these are the new templates to discover. They can also help me guide my decision making. So as I look at colleges, what I wanna show you, Yusuf, is just this card right here. As soon as I scroll down, you can see it's more comprehensive information that's been brought in from across the web. Now I can start to make my decisions a little bit easier. Data types helps me gather data points in real time, compare across, and really narrow in on the factors that matter most to me. With over 100 data types and dozens of templates, you might just find what you're looking for. Really nicely done. Uh, fantastic to see how Excel is becoming a powerful solution with these rich templates. Now, for many of us, uh, we have a real challenge in blending our time across work and life. We have to use multiple applications. Today, we get to show you how Outlook gives you one single view of your entire time. Let's take a look. With all of us having to juggle multiple calendars, whether it's our work, our personal, our schools, our sports, it's, it's quite a bit, right? Visually, instead of having to switch back and forth, Outlook gives us one view, seamlessly helping us stay on top of our days. With the new Outlook calendar features, I can actually add my personal account right here. I've previously connected my Gmail account, and with a quick toggle switch, I can include my personal events in my availability. And what this does is allow my coworkers to see my personal commitments as blocked time, allowing us to find mutual calendar availability and potentially avoid conflicts. So that's just a little bit about managing my own calendars. With Outlook's new feature, for both schools and Team Snap, I now have the ability to care for my family as well. With schools, 
I can add in, let's do 98036. We'll find the district for middle school and add Eisenhower. Successfully imported. So as I take a look back here, you'll see it's all right here. It keeps me up to date with the latest on school news, whether it's cancellations, virtual learning sessions, or even parent-teacher conferences. With these new updates to Outlook, you can better stay on top of your time so you don't miss the moments that matter most. Thanks so much, Gloria. Great job. Now let's take a look at two apps coming later this year from Microsoft 365, starting with Family Safety. Ryan has been working on the Family Safety app, talking to families about how they use technology. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Yusuf. When we talk to families, they're excited to introduce technology to their loved ones, but have some concerns around the challenges it creates. Absolutely, and it makes sense, because today, kids are using technology in unprecedented ways. One in four under the age of six actually have a smartphone. The average age of kids with smartphones is 10 years old, and half of kids under 12 have a social media profile. This leads to natural challenges, which is you know, managing the amount of time kids spend on the phone, uh, inappropriate content, potential for cyberbullying and social media, and even distracted driving with teens. Ryan, let's talk a little bit about how you want to help address some of these. Yeah, let's take a look at how a family would use this experience today. So this is the Ellis family. They've all downloaded the app across their mobile phones. And Elliot Ellis at the top here is the family organizer. Now, Microsoft Family Safety is unique in how it helps you manage your family's digital safety across their Xbox, Windows, and Android devices. And right now, these tools are more important than ever because of the amount of time people are spending on these devices. And with Elliot's youngest son home from school right now, he's spending a lot more time engaged in his devices than with his family. So by opening up his son's profile, he can see the total amount of screen time he spent for the day and across specific apps and games. And with this information, they can sit down and have a conversation about, you know, what is the proper amount of time to be spending on this device and how can they help him develop healthier digital habits? And they both agree that they can set a guideline on one of his favorite entertainment apps. And when Elliot selects this app, he can set an app limit that will go across all of his son's devices. And he can choose to set this for a specific time of day or even a different limit depending on if it's a weekday versus a weekend. Now, when his son runs out of time, He'll get a reminder that he's almost out of time and can request more screen time from his parents. And we want to empower kids to be able to ask for that time, but also empower parents to be able to make a choice. And parents also tell us, you know, they want to help their children make the right choices when it comes to content. And looking at the list of apps and games, Elliot's noticed a more mature game pop up to the top that his son has started playing. And with the feature content filters, Elliot can make sure he can set some guardrails for his son that will allow him to ask for approval before downloading an app or a game over a specified age limit from the Xbox or Microsoft store. Yeah, his son is 10 years old, and Elliot had previously set a content filter for 13 and up to give him a little bit of wiggle room, but decides to set it back to 10. Now, with these features, we don't want to create new ways for families to limit their loved ones, but start a dialogue about the type of content that they're engaging in. And parents who are also looking for peace of mind tell us you know, a lot of that exists on the web too, the websites their kids are accessing. With web and search filters, Ellie can make sure that the internet is a safer place for his kids to explore. He can make Microsoft Edge the default browser, filter out some mature content, turn on safe search, and pre-select some websites that he'll allow his son to visit. And even filter out some websites he maybe doesn't want his son spending some time on. Now, over the course of a week, they both have access to his activity report from the app, and they can see his total screen time across his different devices, across specific apps and games, and even the types of websites he's visiting and some of the terms he's searching for online to really give him the best sense of what's happening in his son's digital world. Love how that's gonna empower parents to really have that dialogue, as you were saying, with their kids. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, in addition to the great digital safety features I just showed you, Microsoft Family Safety also helps you protect your family out in the real world. And right now, the real world's a little bit crazy. I think we all know with a lot of people off of work and school. And I, we understand that a lot of these location features aren't that relevant right now. But hopefully when this new normal passes by quickly and everyone's ready to go back out, we can offer families these features. Now, back on the home screen, Elliot can quickly see all of his family members and what they're up to because they've downloaded the app on their iOS and Android phones. And he can switch to a map view to get a better visual of where all of his family members are. 
Now for Elliot, who, you know, sometimes he's engaging in work or whatever he's focused on at the moment and wants a little bit of peace of mind, he can set an automatic location alert that will notify him when one of his loved ones leaves or arrives at a frequent location like home, work, or school. And he can choose to be reminded once or every single time. So he doesn't have to text back and forth and check his phone every time. And also, when the new teenage drivers in the household are ready to go back out on the road, both the parent and the driver will have access to detailed insights that will help them understand driving behavior and improve some of their habits on the road. They'll have access to things like the number of drives they've taken for the day, the top speed they've hit, and the number of times they've picked up their phone or rapidly accelerated, and access to detailed map views of where this is all happening on the road. Powerful features, but I know some kids will care a lot about their privacy. How are we handling that? Yeah, so at any point, kids can opt in and out of sharing this information. Both parents and the drivers, the teenage drivers, will have access to the same information. So they can feel empowered to start a conversation. There's some transparency there. And we can also be sure to our customers that we won't share that information outside of that conversation because we won't share it with insurance companies. Perfect. Thanks, Ryan. It really looks great. The Family Safety app will be rolling out in limited form to families to test and come out later this year. Now let's take a look at the other new addition to Microsoft 365, Teams for Consumer. Now, as you know, Skype is a fantastic tool for video chatting and calling, used by over 200 million people today to connect friends and family. And Microsoft Teams is now the fastest growing business and educational app in Microsoft's history, with over 44 million people using it daily for meetings, chatting, calls and collaboration. Today we take the next big step as we bring the power of Teams to your personal life. Christy's been working on the team here to bring friends and family together, which in these days and times is so important to have that sense of community. Hi, Christy. Hi. Uh, we are taking the very best of communication and coordination uh, to families and friends. I'm going to jump right in and show you what we have here. Today we're following Nadia. And in her work account now, in the summertime, you'll be able to add your personal account to your existing Teams app. This gives you the ability to have group chats, files, calendars, shared information all contained within the group. If I switch over to her personal account here, Nadia and her family are planning a family reunion later this year. At this point, it looks like what you'd expect from a standard chat app. But let me show you how Teams is different, and let me show you how Teams is helping Nadia and her family plan for this reunion. I want to introduce you to the dashboard up here at the top right. This is a collection of all the important pieces you'd want at a moment's notice within your group. Upcoming events, shared locations, files, and the like. In the chat, you may have noticed that Maya had asked for her family's frequent flyer miles. It's located right here in the safe, where Nadia also keeps important passwords, account information, and rewards numbers. We've also made it incredibly easy to be able to share those things with your group. Inside the safe, all the data is stored under two-factor authentication and end-to-end -end encryption, so it doesn't give you any worry. This chat also has a shared group calendar. Everyone can easily and edit important events, such as flight times and dinners, and then it gives you the ability to see how busy the week is shaping up. Back in the dashboard, have you ever had that experience where you're looking through a chat, scrolling and scrolling and scrolling to find that one experience? Now we have created this section here called Files, where you can find all your Word docs, PowerPoint, Excel, and even PDFs all in one spot. So no longer do you have to go hunt and find for that specific piece of information. In tasks down here, everyone in the group has the ability to create and edit tasks. So once the tasks are completed, you can check them off, but also you can assign tasks to other people in the group. For example, right now, Nadia is going to assign to pick up the cake to her husband, Ellis. We also have the ability to track live locations within the group. And Nadia set up some geofences so she knows when other people in the group are arriving at her house for the reunion. Back in the chat and during the reunion, they will inevitably share lots of photos with each other. Teams puts them in a nice gallery so they can peruse them and share them again later. But as we all know, not everyone's able to travel for the reunion. So up here at the top, you can initiate a group video call so that everyone feels included and it doesn't matter if you're on iOS or Android. Fantastic. So now that you've seen the dashboard, let's go back to the group chat. If this were a normal group chat, meaning it's a constant state of banter back and forth, your group's productivity would end there. But with Teams, we take chat to the next level. We've integrated key features to empower your group to have conversations, to make actions, and to have information, such as the files, ready and able to edit and view at a moment's notice. 
and we don't sell your data. Never has a chat app made a conversation so useful. Today, you've heard me talk about Nadia and her family planning this reunion, but we know that Teams will bring this type of value to any group conversation. Its built-in productivity and the way that we do the coordination is not found on the market today, and it's all included in one experience, Microsoft Teams. Thank you, Christy. It's so exciting. Microsoft Teams will be releasing in preview over the course of the summer for your mobile phone and will officially launch later this fall. And we have one more experience I'd love to show you. One of the most important tools people use on a daily basis on their PC is the web browser. In fact, it accounts for over 60% of the minutes on the PC. Now, as you know, we recently launched the new Microsoft Edge built on the Chromium engine. That allowed us to make real strides on performance, compatibility, and privacy. Today, we're excited to show you new features we're going to bring to Microsoft Edge to help you be more productive and stay safer on the web. Rachel, let's show what we're doing over the next few months. Yeah, absolutely. When you talk about productivity, it really comes down into two areas. Our customers really want help saving time and staying organized. We recently shipped the new feature Collections, which allows them to easily collect, organize, and share content that they find across the web. Let's take a look at one of my collections. This is my Tasty collection where I've saved all of the recipes that I want to try. I can easily find what I'm looking for because Edge automatically pulled out an image and the name of the recipe. All I have to do is click on one of these cards and it'll take me directly back to the website. This is really helpful when I'm sitting in front of my laptop, but honestly, I'm always reading about food wherever and whenever I happen to have the time. That's why I'm really excited to announce that collections will soon be available on iOS and Android. Now I can see all of the recipes and my notes directly from my phone. This will be super helpful later when I'm at the grocery store so I can make sure I have all the ingredients I need. It's also really easy for me to add a recipe that I find, like this one for portobello mushrooms. All I have to do is hit the plus sign, and you'll see that Edge automatically creates a card just like I'd expect on my laptop. And because I like to keep this organized, I can easily drag and drop to rearrange this so that it fits exactly where I want it to within my collection. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. So collections is really helpful when I'm trying to keep everything organized. But what about the day-to-day? -day? I do a lot on the web. And before I realize it, I end up with a ton of tabs open in my browser. And it becomes really difficult for me to find and manage them. My friend Alice just sent me some of these coffee pods, and I want to look at these compared to some that I was looking at previously, but I have so many tabs open that I'm having a hard time figuring out which one I'm looking for. Introducing vertical tabs, which allows me to move all of my tabs to the side with one click. Now I can easily find that one that I was looking for. So now I can look at those tasting notes. I can also drag and drop from this. Even selecting multiple at a time so that all of my coffee-related tabs are right next to each other. And when I want to focus on this page, I can collapse this pane so that I can maximize the real estate. When I want to switch, I just hover over the side so that I can quickly jump to another tab that I'm looking for. I've been planning a virtual movie night with my family, and I think these are some great movie options to throw into the mix. But have you ever tried copying and pasting something like this from the web? It doesn't really work. And my family doesn't need this entire table. So I can use a new feature called Smart Copy that allows me to select just the content that I want and is smart enough to preserve that formatting so that when I paste it into an email, I don't have to worry about it. Oh, so helpful. Yeah. Now I just have to worry about convincing them we should be watching Shoplifters. I've been relying on video a lot more re recently, not only to stay connected with my family and friends, but also to work and to stay active. I was talking to my sister, who's a teacher, earlier this week, and she mentioned that even though school is closed, she's been using video tools like Flipgrid to really connect with her classroom. Her favorite part are daily check-ins that allow her to see her kids' faces and to see a glimpse into their routines at home. Flipgrid is part of Microsoft, which naturally means that it's best on edge. Not only is it the fastest experience, but we also build for Edge first. So that means she gets the latest and greatest camera features. Let's take a look at how other teachers are using Flipgrid to stay connected with their classroom.
I've also been coloring this like Grandma drew it. This is our motor that we put in to move to move it. It is a new experience for both us and the teachers. That was fantastic. I love seeing what we're able to do for parents and for students and teachers with Flipgrid. Real powerful. Mm -hmm. One other area that I know we spend a lot of time on is privacy. Yeah. Let's share a little bit about what we're doing to help keep people safe on the web. Yeah, absolutely. When it comes to privacy on a browser, there's a lot of uncertainty. But when we ask our customers what they want, we get a consistent answer. They want less creepiness. And it's true. There's a lot of creepiness that happens on the web. And we think that browsers should do more to protect you. That's why the new Edge comes with built-in features to help protect your privacy. We have tracking prevention, which is designed to prevent trackers from sites that you haven't visited. And we have in-private, which now comes with seamless integration of private search. But we can't just talk about online privacy and security without addressing passwords. We are excited to announce a new feature, Password Monitor, which will alert you as soon as it discovers that your credentials have ended up on the dark web. Not only is it easy to use, but it's free. All you have to do is use Autofill, and Password Monitor will automatically add that to the list of credentials to monitor. If it finds something, it'll alert you, either on the new tab page like you see here, or when you visit the impacted website. When you click on the notification, you'll be taken directly into settings. So this way I can see a full list of all the credentials that have been impacted. In this case, I find that my credentials from the pet store have been compromised, which is particularly concerning because I have my address and my payment information stored on file. Mm -hmm. I definitely want to change this one right away. So when I click change, it'll take me directly to the reset experience. Once I've saved my password, I can save it back to autofill so that password monitor can add it to its list of credentials to monitor. That allows me to focus on what I need to get done knowing the edge has my back. Fantastic. I love what we're doing to really keep people safe and protected on the web. Yeah. Now, one of the things also in the web is people surf a lot and they create value for other companies. What are we doing to give people value back for the surfing that they do on the web? Yeah, it's a good question. So as you know, we have Microsoft Rewards, which rewards you for every search that you do. You can re then redeem those points for things like gift cards, donations, or other prizes. But today I'm excited to announce a new feature called Give With Bing that makes it easier to give back on a more regular basis. If you're a Microsoft Rewards member, it's easy. All you have to do is turn on Give Mode. And if you haven't yet joined, it's easy and it's free. With over 1 million nonprofits to choose from, you can be sure that your donations will go towards a cause that you truly care about, including the CDC Foundation and others that are supporting the COVID response. And we know that that's something that's top of mind right now, and it's really difficult to stay on top of the latest. That's why we have great resources on Bing.com and Microsoft News to help keep you informed, like the local status, interactive maps, and the latest news. It's fantastic, Rachel. I love seeing what you and the team are doing to help keep our customers safe, private, and protected on the web. We're excited now to bring these great features that Rachel showed you to over half a billion PCs over the next couple of months, and we're going to bring them automatically to your computer. And finally, with Microsoft 365, we remain committed to bringing you new and interesting value. One example of that is we've partnered with companies who share our vision to empower people in their daily lives. And we've brought their subscription offers to Microsoft 365. And we're delighted to tell you that for a period of time, you can try these for free. Thank you to all these partners, and we look to adding more in the near future. In these changing and fluid times where life is interrupting work and work is interrupting life, Microsoft remains committed to empowering every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. Thank you so much for joining us today. You can't make more time. But with Microsoft 365, you can make more of your time. Because planning a night with your friends shouldn't take all day. Organizing your day doesn't have to take up most of it. 
and time spent worrying about the safety of your family could be time spent with your family. Microsoft 365 helps you make more of your time by combining premium office apps with innovations in Outlook, Teams, OneDrive, and family safety. Because creating a presentation shouldn't take more time than learning what's in it. Teamwork is not about getting together. It's about being together. And time spent preserving your memories could be time spent making new ones. Your focus shouldn't be on the things you need to do. It should be on the things you love to do. Introducing Microsoft 365, a subscription to make the most of your time.